Hey friends, welcome back to your girl Brittany and I'm excited to show you what I had created using the collection by Decorate Your Life from Cradle to Stage. Now the other design team members will be sharing their projects as well so make sure you check out what they created. I will have all their links down below in the description box so don't be afraid to click on their links. Go ahead and see what they made. Share uh, show them some love, like, follow, subscribe, all of that fun jazz. I'm really excited to show you what I created. I think this will kind of blow your mind a little bit. And yeah, so stay tuned. <laughs> So with this collection, opening it up, I was sitting there thinking like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Like, what am I going to create? Because um, again, it just seems so like delicate, <laughs> you know? But then with all the ballerinas and everything, it was giving me jewelry box vibes. And so a lot of times you got to let the collection tell you what to make instead of just wanting to go ahead and make something. And so that's what exactly, that's exactly what I did. I let it tell me what to do and I went ahead and I did it. So this is what we came up with, okay? So I used the really, really pretty um, fabric that she included in the design team pack package, as well as that really pretty pink lace. And then I went ahead and added some flowers for my stash and some butterflies at the top. I have brought that fabric piece all the way down to the side and then I have fussy cut some of the images here and applied it on to the side. So if you turn it around, it just drapes over and you can see all the really pretty paper from the collection. So stinking pretty. And then here in the front here, these all four of these down here are drawers, but I only added knobs to the two because I'm not gonna lie, I forgot to poke my holes <laughs> in the other ones. Um, because they have you have because they screw in, and I for, you have to do it before you fold it over because I did the frame method for my drawers, and so I had already um did my frame and put it together, and I was like, oh shucks, shoot. <laughs> so I only had the two knobs, but um, we go ahead and we pull. And then they're kind of tight but here is one so we have one of the images there and then you have to pretty much pull the one out in order this is actually my first time playing with it since I put it together <laughs> making sure all right so then we have the next one there and then we have the next drawer pull and we have that little collection piece there and then we have that one right there and so really pretty i kept the actual top parts plain didn't want to worry too much about that but i did use the little um flat back beaded pearls that she also included in our package so we have that portion so the top part opens up into this so i know you kind of can't see it. it's kind of a bad angle let me see if i can adjust a little bit all right so now that I zoomed out a little bit, so now you can have a better idea of how everything looks. And so I use some seam binding here for my stash to kind of hold the top part upright. So then that way when it opens, it stays open for you. And then you know, and like a lot of jewelry boxes or anything, they have those little rolled cushion pieces for you to put your rings. So that's what I did here. And I added some buttons here so you can kind of go ahead and get that impression. Then we have like a little removable piece here, space here where you can go ahead and remove it or just add your trinkets all in this space so it doesn't maneuver around. We have a really pretty um, scene in the background with the little girl and the um, beautiful chair, all her little stuffed animals and um and things and then i went ahead and i fussy cut out one of the ballerinas and then i had used some thread to hold her upright so then that way like when you open and close it she can go ahead and stand upright instead of um still because i was having issues with her kind of being bent a little bit and having to fix and maneuver her every time it opens up so i went ahead and added the thread there so then again when you open and close she's already up the box stays up and is really pretty again added that beaded work at the top here 
Um, this was <laughs> a lot of work. Uh, it probably doesn't look like it, but it was a lot of work. I created six frames to put this all together. Um, I have plenty of tutorials on different sizes of frames to do to do this. This is relatively um, a six by six, and um, it stands at about seven inches tall i want to say i don't have my ruler close to me but um yes yeah, so i created six frames <laughs> and all of that fold like the the special ways of cutting it and folding it and putting it all together like it was a lot of work and so again it probably doesn't look like it but it, it was a a very tedious task but i am so excited with how this turned out like i said i let the collection speak to me instead of trying to force something out of it i let it tell me what to do and um which is weird because i don't let anybody tell me what to do but um like i really really love it and then added this little button piece here to again when i had this whole little cascading work and we have um the pretty flowers and like i ruffled it up so i had so i can keep like really pretty like i mean just so it's just really pretty even when it's closed and then you have some beauty to it when it's sitting open as well especially when you have it kind of like going from the side i will um add some photos at the end so you can get a better impression of how it's looking all together i know it's kind of hard with the video and the angle in which the camera is and everything but um i really 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 am proud of this i really like how it turned out I hope you guys enjoyed what I created and what I did with this collection as well. Make sure you check out the other ladies, see what they came up with with this collection. I'm excited to see what they had been doing. And yeah, so don't forget to like, subscribe to your girl. Don't forget to shoot some comments down below. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and visiting. I love it when we hang out like this. And until next time, bye.